Hello! Happy 2012 and welcome to this week's episode of Name That Percussion Instrument with your host, Matt Lupoli. Now today we'll be talking about a very unusual percussion instrument and it's right here in front of me. It is quite literally a donkey's jawbone, also known in Spanish as the quijada de burro or just simply the quijada, which literally means the jawbone of the donkey. Now you're probably wondering how on earth is the donkey's jawbone played as an instrument? Well, I'll show you. If you look here, you will notice it is an actual donkey's jawbone. It was once part of a real living donkey, and it comes from Peru. And as you can see, all the flesh um, and uh, tissue and gum has all rotted away. So it's leaving all of this exposed bone and these teeth, which are now very loose. And as you can see, they're very wiggly. So to play it, what you do is you hold it on the smaller end like this, and then with the larger end, you take either your palm or your fist, and you just lightly hit it, like so. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, because these teeth are loose, it gets that really nice uh, rattling sound with this teeth. It's really cool. Now, another way you can play it is with a scraper like this, and you can play it very similarly, um, very similarly to how you would play a rasp or a, a guiro, like so. Just scrape it along the teeth like that. And you can also combine both playing techniques to get really cool sounds and rhythms, like this. Now this instrument is generally used in uh, Latin American music ensembles, whether in Mexico, Central America, and parts of South America as well. Now, more recently, a lot of people have been using this instrument right here. This is the Viberslap, which is made by LP, Latin Percussion. This is one of the first instruments they ever patented when they first formed, and it was basically made to be a, uh, an improvement over the Quijada, because these jawbones they aren't made to last forever. They could be, they could break very easily. They're very delicate. So somebody had the idea to make a jawbone that doesn't break, or at least doesn't break that easily. So that's why they invented this. And as you can see, it's made out of metal and wood, and there's a wooden chamber. And instead of actual teeth, there's little pieces of metal that act as the teeth. And when you hit this ball on the vibra slap, they rattle, like so. So it has a very similar sound to the Quijada, and um, that's a sound you probably heard on many famous recordings as well. But in parts of uh, Latin America, there are still musical ensembles that still prefer the original uh, Quijada sound over the newer Viberslap sound. And uh, yeah, this is just a very traditional instrument, and supposedly it's been used since biblical times. And there you have it.